Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the greatest common factor, an important topic for algebra. So, uh, what is the product or factor using 16 as an example? So, I want to break down for you how I get the numbers for greatest common factor. So, we're using 16. So, you know, 1 times 16 is 16. 2 times 8 is 16. And what else? 4 times 4 is 16. Those numbers on top are called factors. Did you know when you multiplied and learned your multiplication table, that's what was called factors? And the answer to a multiplication problem is called what? Well, that's product. So the explanation is what is a product or factors using 16? Now, if I'm going to use greatest common factor, I must know that those factors are numbers that divide evenly into the number. So I'll give you an example here, 3 and 17. Well, if you know your multiplication tables, you know that doesn't work. But why? <clears throat> well, first, if you take 3 into 17, you know it doesn't go evenly. It gives you a remainder of 2. So for that reason, you would know that 3 is not a factor. But you'd also know that 5 is not a factor. And uh, another introductory thing is we're going to talk about the distributive property down here. The distributive property, we mentioned factor. Greatest common factor is the whole purpose. Just a second, let's look at prime factors. The prime factors are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Those are the ones that you can't have other factors other than 1 times the number. Nothing else works. Not even one is considered a prime factor. So with that as a background, let's get into some algebra and again talk about greatest common factor. So basic, let's do 4 and 20. What is the greatest common factor of 4 and 20? So I'll show you a method that I at least go through in my mind and for you if you get better at your multiplication tables you should be able to do these quicker in your mind and sometimes they'll be pretty hard to do. 4 is 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. 20 is 1 times 6 times 20. Now that little dash is not a minus sign, that's just a lazy multiplication sign. 2 times 10 and 4 times 5. So when you look at the factors that are in common, there's of course 1 and 2 and 4. But 4 is the greatest common factor. Now all these other ones here in 20 are true, but they're not in common with 4. Let's apply this to a binomial. A binomial has two terms in algebra. 4x cubed y plus 20x squared. First of all, from up here, we realize that 4 is the greatest common factor. So I'd have 1 times 4, x, x, and x, y plus 5 times 4, 5 times 4, that's 20, times x times x. Now the reason I write it this way is at first you can see that there's a 4 in common. You can also see that there is x and x in common. So the common factor is 4x squared. So the actual method, if you put the 4x squared in front, to get this outside is division. So I'm going to divide 4 and x squared with xx, same over here, and this is what I'm left with. This is the answer. This is what you're looking for, 4x squared, parentheses, which means times, xy plus 5. Uh, did you notice up here, I actually did a division step, which is the inverse of multiplication. Now let's check it. Uh, you can always check these. You should know whether you're right or wrong. When you distribute, you take uh, 4x squared times xy, 4x squared 
times 5. You may have seen this where they draw a little arc over. So this checks. Look, this is the original problem that I ended up with. You should never miss a problem of this type because you can always check it. Let's try 14 and 42. If the factors of 14 are 1 times 14 and 2 times 7. 42 has a lot of factors. 1 times 42, 2 times 21, 3 times 14. That one you might not remember. 6 times 7. But now when you look between them, they have uh, 2 and 7 and 14 in common. The greatest common factor is 14. Now there's other factors, but they're not the greatest common factor. So that's the math of the numbers. Let's go break this down now. 14 times y times y minus 3 times 14. Now we just found that out up here. 3 times 14 xy. Well, you can see in common is a 14 and a y. So we're going to divide that out. 14y is the common factor. And when we divide it out, we get y minus 3y. Again, you can check this by the distributive property, but this is the, what it looks like with the greatest common factor taken out. Remember, factors are two numbers multiplied together. That's a time sign right there. So there's the check. Distribute out. This isn't the answer. This is the answer. Let's do this again with 6 and 18. Now, hopefully, you get the idea here and your multiplication is good enough. If not, I recommend you keep working on your multiplication tables. Math only gets easier because you have things memorized. Uh, regardless of what people told you in the past, you, you don't forget memorized stuff or you recall it quickly. 6 is 1 times 6, 2 times 3. 18 is 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and um, 3 times 6. So if you look back and forth here, you can see that 6 is the greatest common factor. Using that on this binomial, 6x squared breaks down. As I've written it, you'll notice there's a 6 and an x in both terms, which is the greatest common factor. That is actually divided out. So I get 6x times parentheses x minus 3. Then I check it. Now remember, this, this is your answer right here. Okay, so the multiplication is distributive. And when you start with this, the reverse of multiplication is division. Take the common factor out. 12 and 36, you'll get the idea here. These are going to get a little more complex. But uh, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. 36 is 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12. Some of these you may not be as familiar with. 4 times 9, 6 times 6. The greatest common factor in those lists is 12. So let's uh, distribute, let's just write out all the factors of 12xy squared plus 36y cubed and divide by the greatest common factor, which is 12y squared. What's left is the factored form of the greatest common factor. And of course, check back. You will pick up errors when you check back. Part of math is following the through and checking. Let's try 6 and 16. 1 times 6, 2 times 3, 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. The greatest in common is only a 2. Now there's a lot of letters here, C and DD and CD, and you see they both have CD in common and had 2 with the numbers, 2CD. So that's divided out. When you divide out, you get 2CD, which is your greatest common factor, times 3d minus 8. And a quick check. My distributive shows us we got it right.
9 and 54. 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. 54 you may not be as familiar with. 2 times 27. 3 times 18. That's probably one you're not familiar with. 6 times 9. You notice how I progress? I divide 2 into it. 3. I might try 4. Not 5 because it doesn't end in 5. 6. And then pretty much these get so close together I know there's not any more. Look in common. What do you see in common? The greatest common factor is 9. There are some things in common. So 9, and then I break down the problem. X and X, Y and Z, Z, Z. X, Y, Z, Z. And I can see there's two Z's in common, a Y and an X. Not everything's in common. So I factored out, having divided, and I check it. Now remember, this is my answer. This is what I'm going for. This is the check. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Give us some likes or some thumbs up. Thank you so much.